Hello, my name's Louise Kernan and I'm here to talk to you about discovering felt making. We formed the Education Committee plan in 2018 out of necessity to plan the workload and share out the myriad of ideas that our education officer had brought us to work with, rather than working in isolation to continue what had already been put in place, starting with our certificate of felt making techniques. We wanted to focus at the beginning, back to basics and concentrating on making quality felt. We have a fabulous syllabus with SIFT, which takes the student on a felt making journey through many of the techniques that this diverse medium can be made to do. SIFT is a self-managed syllabus, not a taught course. And we realise that the first steps are often the hardest when you're trying to learn something new. We also realise there's so much choice in online learning, the search can be overwhelming and so often online courses are focused on one specific project. So we started to plan to develop a set of courses which were technique based to be available online. Our first Discovering Felt Making course, Discovering Felt Making Part 1, was launched in early 2020 where you could access the information online, you could have the option to print notes out to work from at your leisure but with access to a mentor through the online system to guide you through your course and answer any queries you may have during your learning. Our first course, starting right at the beginning of making a flat piece of wet felt felt, whilst understanding each stage of the process, what it does and how you control that process. We also wanted to encourage our students to explore a variety of breeds. Again, controlling the process with each different breed and learning the variations in characteristics, which as you gain experience, will help you make decisions for future projects. Here is the work of one of our Discovering Felt Making Part 1 students, Janet Jenkins. Like many of our wonderful students so far, Janet has created an excellent range of samples from a wide variety of breeds and has labelled each sample with notes on the variations in the process as well as the characteristics of the breed in the finished sample. This will help her to make wise fibre choices for her future projects and understand the size her layout needs to be to have the correct size of the project in the end. Our first discovery in felt making course was designed with novice felt makers in mind. However, interestingly, Janet, like several other students, were not novices, but found it invaluable to come back to first principles and refine their basic technique. Thank you, Janet, for your photograph and input. Our courses are offered online through a platform called Rizuku. We chose this platform for its user friendly reputation. It is simple to navigate your way around the course materials. You create an account when you join, so you have ongoing access to your own materials and notes. During the live part of the course, usually over a six week period, you can work at your own pace and we have an online mentored forum where we can post photos of work, ask questions, chat with other students, comment on our experiences, help each other with the challenges and celebrate our successes together. The forum is great fun and when we get going and we share what we're doing, I check in every morning and every evening UK time, so I hopefully capture every time zone at least once in the day. This slide shows you what Rizuku looks like when you create your account and the important stuff is all on the left hand side. When you click on any of the lines in the list, the relevant instructions or information appears. In the instructions section, you can work direct from the screen or there's a download link to print out if you prefer to work from written instructions. Rizuku is very easy to use and it also has an excellent support team who work very hard to resolve any password or access issues that might occasionally crock up. After three successful rounds of discovering felt making part one, we're now in a position to take the next step and add part two. And I'm very excited to say that here today, we are able to let you be the first to know that discovering felt making part two is ready for launch. And I would like to let you know a little about it. In discovering felt making part two, 
you'll gain an understanding of color theory. And from these foundation blocks, you will learn how to create your own artist palette of colors using your newfound knowledge and also mastering the skill of fiber blending using hand carders. Hand carders can sometimes be a bit of a challenge right from the start. And so here we are being taught by our very own queen of carding, IFA president, Sheila Smith. Sheila takes you through the process from start to finish and makes it look very easy. And with a little bit of practice, you'll have successful bats that you can produce to create your own artist palette. When we've mastered the hand carding, we then move on to other ways of blending and creating colored effects and how to influence them in subtle ways to get the best out of your effects. It's all about experimentation. It's about playing with what you're learning and understanding the influences of the fibers within each other's layers. The final section is all about pre-felts and the varied effects created by when and how they're used. And this is all about discovering felt making part two, which will be launched on May the 2nd and you can enrol for either part one or part two on this day. You can create your Ruzuku account and have time to gather your equipment and materials. And then we'll start the student forum and the mentoring on May the 11th. And because we all know how life gets in the way, we run through at a leisurely pace right until the 30th of June. So plenty of time to practice and learn. But what's next then on my to-do list for the DF coordinator and the education subcommittee? Well, I'm excited to tell you that Discovering Felt Making Part 3 is already in progress. This will finish the first set of the three courses that reflect the learning required for module one of SIFT. Work has started and with a little favorable wind in our sails, we hope to launch part three later this year. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you found it interesting and please do ask any questions that you may have. Thank you.